Caroline Sock shares her personal story of finding her biological father in her documentary, Origin Story, and Kulap. Oh my gosh, I watched your film and it was an emotional roller coaster for me. I can only imagine what it was like for you. And I wanna know, you shared it with the public. Um, how did you come with, to that decision? I know it's not done, right? It's just not done. I just, I think I felt that if I didn't put some sort of form to this dysfunction that it would hold me back for the rest of my life. And being somebody who is a creative person and um, I, I had to figure out how to, how to explore it this way, I think. I think it was, I was compelled to do it. But it was crazy. There's no getting around how crazy that was. <laughs> it was so honest, so raw that sometimes I felt guilty being watching the film because I felt like, oh my god, this is so personal. I feel like they're in therapy and I shouldn't be listening to this, but I can't stop. <laughs> when you were editing it, did you were there moments where you felt that way? I don't think as humans we're meant to see our memories like that. And so that was really hard. It was hard to to see myself in in ways that I I wouldn't say are my in my best light. Um, it's hard to look at two cameras and say, "Oh wow, you you missed something in that moment." You could have asked another question. Why did you just accept that? And so yeah, it was really um, it was like doing this documentary was like wearing so many hats, like being both the um, difficult talent and the strong director. <laughs> My name is Kula Filaisak. I'm an actor, writer, I host a comedy podcast. I work a lot in the comedy world. I grew up in the suburbs of Minnesota with a mom and a dad and two younger sisters. As much as I wanted us to be like everybody else, we were different. First um, feature film that you directed, right? Talk about that process. I mean, I know you've had so many other um, experiences in producing, but that it was so personal to you too. I mean, nothing like this. Nothing like this documentary. I, I mean, I guess how could it be? But I, I think it was. I, you know. It was so hard. I, I don't. I want to be more descriptive and use like better words. But yeah, watch the movie. It was really. It was really difficult. And I was. I really. I learned as I went along. And I knew that, like, in terms of like directing this piece, it's like, who else was going to really? As I figured this out, as I as the you know, uh, you know, I've never done anything like this before. So. I, who else is going to also pay for it? <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly. <laughs> True, very honest again. Um, now, you know, I'm sure before you filmed the documentary, were, was there, what was your best um, idea? Like, what did you want? You know, does that make any sense? Yeah, I think initially I thought that I could get everyone to say what I wanted them to say or say what I thought was the answer. And then when you get into it, it's like memory is tricky and it's relative to your experience. And so I go to talk to all of my parents, <laughs> all of them. Um, and so their truth is something that they lived with for a while and, and, and in some ways, all of our truths together, they're probably in a Venn diagram. It, the true truth is probably in the middle there. But like these are years and years of like memories and bad memories that people are, that my parents pulled up. Um, and it, it's not as simple as having like a, a, like a fill in the blank. It's not yes or no. It's not. So I think I learned that like it, it was less about finding the truth and more about accepting the circumstance and my past and my parents. And you do that so well in the film. Uh, there's one thing that um, you did say that when you went to Laos, you were closer to your community. Can you expand about everything that you're doing now? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, so coming back from Laos, I had this feeling of like true connection to my heritage that I didn't have before. And in many ways, it's because I had such a fraught relationship with my parents. I thought that was the only way to being Lao. 
And in the past, I was sort of, I felt a little outside of my Lao American community for various reasons. But coming back, and I felt really fortified by being in the motherland. And I started to explore um, the Lao American diaspora who were like of my age and who are creatives and, and want to do something different and, and explore what it means to be Lao American 2.0 in many ways. So I came back to LA. I started this group called Laos Angeles because that's a fun pun. I love that. You know, it's easily uh, easy on a t-shirt yeah. and that's important. <laughs> and we started with five people and now we're at like 188 and we keep growing. It's a national movement uh, my hope and goal is to shine a light on the diaspora of Laos and, and have our stories be told in mainstream media so it's been this exciting um, really fulfilling um, part of my life that I think enriches it and I think um, it wouldn't maybe have happened if you didn't do this documentary right <laughs> yeah that's true I think this documentary Without a doubt, and it sounds so crunchy, California, the journey, but, but truly, truly this journey and, and this film is a catalyst to my evolution as a person. I, from doing it, I feel more confident than ever of who I am. And I know all my faults too, so. <laughs> We're all human. <laughs> I'm so human. <laughs> now, you say um, your origin story, I love this, your origin story is just the beginning. Um, you have so many stories to tell. What are some of the stories that you want to tell after this? I want to do, I, my next project, I want to be like a narrative, like I don't want to do a documentary about me anymore. I'm done with that. So done that. And even like I, before I was mainly an actor, I'm cool with not acting anymore. I spent a lot of time with me editing and I'm sick of me and my feelings. Well, we're not sick of you. <laughs> I'm going to start moving towards behind, you know, doing more behind the scenes stuff and creating new shows. And the next thing I want to do is a half hour dramedy with an Asian American lead. So I'm working on that now. I love it. I'm going to be looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Kula. Thank you for talking to me and thank you for watching the film. <laughs> I loved it. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> when I was 14, they were fighting again. When I stood up for my father, my mom said, why are you defending him? He's not your real dad. And just like that, everything that I knew about myself was a lie. All these years, I've been running away from my past. Now, I'm finally ready to run towards it. From my home in Los Angeles, to where I grew up in Minnesota, to Laos, where I'll find my birth father. Love. If you have time, please call me. Bye-bye. My name is Kulap Vilaisak, and this is my origin story.